This is Twit. It is a camera app. It, it, it's called Obscura. It's been around for a while, but they just released about a week ago Obscura 2. And I love this app. This is for serious photographers who want more control of their iPhone camera. Uh, it takes advantage of uh, all the features in the iPhone. Let me get this out of the way so uh, I can take a nice picture of the table. So let me show you the user interface. Um, there's a scroll bar here that lets you play with a lot of uh, different settings. I'll show you that in a second. But because we're really a more of a pro camera, whoa, we can also crash it. Let's, let's, uh, let's bring that back. What happened there? I can set the shutter speed directly, manually. Of course, normally you'd probably use auto, but this is this is the point, is that if you need the controls, you might want them. I can set the ISO uh, manually. Again, normally you'll, you'll leave it in auto. Uh, you can also choose different uh, uh, formats. So the phone normally takes in JPEG, uh, but... Uh, there's the high efficiency image format, which Apple has uh, pioneered and uh, is on the iPhone 10. There's camera raw, which means it's going to take every bit. You can use the depth camera, and it'll save all the depth information. It doesn't have a depth slider, but you can use other programs uh, to do that as well. Uh, here's a foliage filter. Ooh. There's a variety of filters. There's filter packs as well. Uh, I bought the uh, black and white filter pack because that's uh, really a nice thing to have. You uh, have access to the zoom, but it's not as easy. So you should be aware that the Apple uh, camera might be a little bit easier in, in terms of switching back and forth between the portrait mode. Here's the front-facing camera. But this is really not designed for speed. This is designed for power and capability. There's a grid. In fact, more than one grid. There's a variety of different grids you can have, including the golden mean. There is um, a level in here. A lot of people... In the professional cameras, will have a level so they can get their horizon uh, oh. straight. You have a choice of flash, of course. That's that's just like the regular Apple camera. The timer. So this is a very powerful uh, camera that lets you modify the focus manually. Manual focus. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. So if a camera's having a hard time getting that wood grain just right, you can do it manually. There's also manual exposure. And I already showed you ISO and shutter speed. So there's really a lot of capability in this. You you probably wouldn't use it all the time. Notice I haven't replaced my Apple camera. You know, that's the go-to when I want to take a picture. But if I need more control or I want to save camera raw, uh, this is a really great choice. Obscura 2, which just came out, and uh, there's some new packs available. It is, a, as they say, a, a better camera. I really love uh, It basically makes the iPhone into a professional quality uh, camera, at least in terms of the settings and so forth. So if you need those settings, this is a great way to go. I wish it would let you change it so that it, you could open it with the camera app. Yeah, that's Apple. Mm -hmm. Apple doesn't let anybody do that. But again, I think in general, by the way, Ben Rice McCarthy, I was trying to remember his name, give Ben some credit. Uh, I was trying to, uh, uh, I think you're probably going to want to use the Apple camera 90% of the time. This is for people... Look at all the metadata you can get. This is really amazing. Um, very, very nice job, Ben. There are other, uh, you know, that we've talked before about Halide, which is also an excellent camera. If you're, if you are doing, and there's the, uh, you can see it's a couple of bucks for the uh, extra filters. What is the price on Obscura Two? I can't remember. Is it five bucks? Five bucks. Yeah, four ninety nine. So very uh, well worth it. You might want Halide as well. I mean, they they all do different things. But this is a very nice... Uh, the metadata is really interesting, too. I, I, I guess I downloaded it. Yeah, you get all the depth information yeah. is stored in there. Yeah. That's and you don't really normally nice have access view, to that. I think. Well, look at that. Did you just buy that to kid? <laughs> I had bought it at some point to review it and then <clears throat> never gotten around to it. So. Well, I'm glad I uh, brought yeah. it up. I'm going to start using it because, I, yeah, I, I need some help with my Well, the, the, the issue for me is, you know, I usually bring around a professional camera, but um, often it, I end up using the phone. Mm -hmm. And so it's this is kind of a midway between a, a, a pro camera and just getting a little bit more out of the phone. And often that's really all I need, yeah. you know, just to get a little more out of the phone, a little, a little more control over what's going on. And I, I do really love being able to get all the information uh, about what's going on in the camera, all the EXIF and all that stuff. So there you have it.